He's bouncing back nicely from his injuries, like we said earlier. Really, really nice to see someone who's been a very close friend of James's for, for a long while. It's nice to see him enjoying his diving. Yeah, you can't help but want James to succeed, can you? Of course. Now Stefano, another back two and a half. He was very impressive this morning. Oh. Wow, <laughs> flying. Just cooked it a bit too far. Yeah. <laughs> Just had that a little bit, a little bit too much lean on the start. When you do have a bit of lean on a takeoff, it can increase your spin spin and help create the rotation, but unfortunately. We mentioned this morning about so simple and elegant. Yeah, he was probably one of the first one divers of the Brits to start doing these pike dives on one meter, and then it's kind of forced everyone else to up their antenna too. So, of course, obviously gets a lot of respect for that. Stefano with his reverse two and a half somersaults took very nice dive there from him. I love the height. Back rotation. Kings. Yeah, he's kept his feet together well in that one. Maybe we just didn't quite have the speed on the somersault, so we had to dig that a little bit harder. Slightly over rotated. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a real shame because Stefano this morning on this dive, his hurdle step and his takeoff were probably the most impressive as well. It was so steep. Didn't have the entry maybe he would have wanted, but. Good decision because he was facing the judges over the other side of the pool, so I don't think he'd have been able to do the dive from there. Oh, oh that is a big shame. Unfortunately, don't think we're going to see too many points with the two point deduction. He's gone absolutely surfing over. Yeah, that's really unfortunate there from Stefano. Absolutely huge start. Absolutely huge. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano. Full in. Twisting before the two and a half somersaults. A lot better than this morning as well. We mentioned how his disc on the board is always very consistent. Really good to see him using his full height and not pushing it too far forward. Puts the pressure on James Heatley as well, who was two points behind him after the last round. Still managed to make it there. Should be said, a very difficult dive, like we, like we said before. Yeah, a lot of dive. <laughs> Definitely not one that you want to get. I know there, though. He yeah, um, sometimes can be very hard. You've had a bad hero step as he did nearly rounds. Can be one thing that's running through your mind, but deducted by the judges for that. Probably gonna see some yeah, slightly lower scores. You can see Chess kisses. <laughs> yeah, great dive from James to finish up his list. I think that's Definitely going to put him up into the medal positions. Which one we will wait and see. Stefano was really impressive this morning. Not quite had the competition he would have liked this afternoon. But a good finish for him. Yeah. It's been nice to see everybody who's not quite had the, com had the competitions they've wanted in this final produce a good dive on their last one. Yeah, it's easy to, when you're not, you know you're not going to get the result you want to kind of let your head go down and 